Hello guys and welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to defeat Shinryu, the strongest enemy in Final Fantasy V. I'm gonna show you all the equipment and the abilities you need in order to defeat him. So let's get to it. First things first, levels, levels 43 and one character level 41. Okay, jobs. Sorcerer, Time Mage, Blue Mage and Dancer. Abilities that I have equipped are S-Shot or X-Fight in certain uh, versions of the game. Time and Combine or Mix. Blue Magic, Summon. And for Ferris I have the Dance ability and Two-Handed. As far as the equipment is concerned, I have the Chicken Knife. It's maxed out. I have the best equipment uh, for parts. So the most important thing in uh, this battle is that you need to have coral rings which will absorb uh, water attacks. So I have them on all my characters. There we go. That's what I'm gonna be using. And we need to set the battle speed to like the slowest possible because Shinryu is very fast and I cannot react all that fast uh, to his attacks so this is what we're gonna be using and we are ready so parts in the front row Ferris also so let's do this okay we just need to get this chest okay oops monsters Let's see who's lurking inside. Okay, Shinryu is lurking. There we go, this is the attack. But we have... Okay, we have the protection. We're gonna be using Flare. Dance. Oh, that's the worst I could get. Let's use Quick. Do it. Golem. Nice. So far so good. Now we're gonna be using Mix and we need to inflict darkness on Shinryu. So we're gonna be using eye drops. Where are they? There we go, eye drop. And Dragon Fang. There we go. Nice, that's a 100% uh, darkness inflicted on Shinryu, so he's gonna be having a hard time hitting us from now on. And now we wanna inflict Berserk on him, and we're gonna use uh, Turtle Shell and Revivify. Turtle Shell. Do I have a Revivify? So, sorry, this is my mistake, I was looking for Revivify and it's actually holy water in this game, so, my bad. Let's do this. Bach is fine. Berserk, so, now Shinryu is gonna be attacking us all the time, and he's gonna be having a hard time hitting us, as you can see, and every time he does hit us, we need to re-establish Golem, because otherwise, uh, Next time he hits us, we're gonna be dead. So we need to avoid that. There we go, nice. Let's use quick. Summon. Actually, I think we don't need... Golem now, he didn't hit us even once. Maybe I should just... Nah. Let's... Attack him. Bahamut. Okay. Let's use haste too. And meteor. Nice. So far so good. Okay, Bahamut. How much damage? Okay, 
Okay, miss. Nice. It's very easy from this point on. Miss again. Okay, quick. Summon. I really don't need to use anything, so I might as well at least deal uh, a thousand damage. Why not? Quick. Now we're gonna increase the attack. There we go. Dragon Fang. Tonic. Nice. Okay, and Meteor. I don't like the spelling in this game, it's really messy. My Meteor. What is Meteor? Okay, Blowfish. 1000. Parts. Nice. Look at that damage. And that's it, Shinryu is down. I wasn't expecting him to go down so fast, but we did it. We did it. We actually beat Shinryu. Nice. What do we get? 100 ability points. And that's it. Well, kind of sad. But that's the easiest way to beat Shinryu. And it's very tough without the coral rings, because if he actually kills you in the beginning of the battle, it's very hard to revive and maintain all the stats you need and all that so make sure to buy enough coral rings and then it's a cakewalk we get the Ragnarok very good knight sword can we... nah nah okay let's do this let's just check it out if it is anything I just want to show you the sword there we go, 140 damage. Battle power, I mean. Very nice. I won't be using it, but still, it's there. So that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my uh, method, how I killed Shinryu. And I'll see you in my next videos. Take care. If you have enjoyed the video and you want to see more, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all next time.